Hey Magic fans, we're back. This is your captain speaking. We've done two boxes of the special edition Lord of the Rings. So let's do a quick overview. Do a value breakdown I got over here to the left. And uh, see where it all came out. Now, before we get started, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Subscription helps support the channel. It's all free. Uh, if you want to buy some of these cards, they're already going to be listed online by the time you see this video. So check out links in the description to the TCG player store, the eBay store. That's where all my cards get listed from all these box opening videos. So you can get them fresh straight from me. Um, yeah, well, to start with, let's just look at card design for one. Um, so we have our commons and uncommons here. I think the coolest thing about this, even with the foils, is I like the card design and I like how the foils reflect the, I guess, the lettering on the outside, right? And it looks really good. So even if you were to pick up a regular rare, that was a foil. Where are the non foils at? No. There's one that's non foil. Like if you look at this one, it looks good too, and the foiling about it makes it look even better because the foiling gives you that shine around where the color would be on the border. So personally, I kind of like these new cards. Um, obviously, the rest of the cards in the next sets won't look like this, but I like the cards. I think they look better. Now, we obviously, we do have regular full art, plus we also have regular full art and surge foils. As you can see, this was a surge foil. Um, so again, lots of variation, which is going to make it very hard to list this stuff, which is one of the reasons why I didn't buy a whole lot. Listing the Doctor Who stuff took me days and my God, it was not really worth the trouble. Um, just to be honest with you, in my opinion. So with that being said, uh, quick breakdown, uh, as always, anything that's not more than $2 gets a $1 bulk rate. Um, I only do rares and up. I don't do anything other than that. Uh, I did count the Nazgul uh, uncommons because they're like fifteen to twenty dollars a piece. They're insanely high for uncommons. Um, some other com some other commons and uncommons are expensive as well. Like Lori, um, let's see if I can find one here. I forget what it's called. I hope I got a foil one. It's worth a lot of money. Probably don't though, knowing my luck. No, not have, don't have a foil one. Um, uh, here it is, Lorien revealed this thing. This common, I think, unfoil is going for like seven dollars. It's really hot common. Um, there's another one. So I didn't count those. Uh, I only counted the Nazgul, so kind of keep that in mind. Other than the Nazgul, I didn't count anything that was uncommon or lower, so there's probably a little extra value here. Something else I didn't really count is the uh, uncommon Surge Foils because they really didn't have a high dollar value of around like a dollar. Like I, This might be a couple bucks, maybe. But honestly, I looked all these prices up on TCG Player, um, and once I got down to the part that was below $2, I just stopped looking cards up and just... For these, there was only one or two that were actually worth money, um, mainly the Nazgul. And since these weren't worth anything, I just didn't put them in there at all. Um, so maybe a little value there. Highly doubt it, though. But, uh, oh, also, all the tokens we got were Surge Foils. There's technically some value there, probably. Um, and, of course, the land are Surge Foils. Again, probably a little value there that we didn't count. But that's half a dozen one sixty the other. We're going to go for the big dollar amounts, two or higher, uh, that we know of in the higher slots. Now, some of these cards, even though they're uncommons, actually did have value. Um, like this Souls Attendant, these are $5 a piece. Um, the Explorers are only a buck, but the foil one is actually five. Temper with Discovery, the foil, the Elvish Harbinger. Uh, there's actually some value here. I did get that value, so I did count these. Uh, with that being said, we had two kinds of rares. We had the normal rares from the set. We had Commander slash um, Christmas special stuff, I guess, the box sets. 
in here. Um, so start with, for regular rares, wasn't a whole lot of high value stuff in here. I mean, it was kind of half a dozen, one sixty the other. Uh, we did have this Ward Riders around $9. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, but the rest of it's kind of just okay. Um, in here, these are all the Surge foils. Um, there was quite a few dollars in here. They're, you know, four or five dollars on a regular basis running around through this. Uh, nothing too great. We did get up to around five or ten here. This is around seven. Um, but not a whole lot of big dollar value in here, uh, per se. Uh, these are actually worth, uh, a little bit of money only because the only way to get them in surge foils in these boxes and they're in the, um, the panel box set, whatever you want to call it. And then here we have the rest of them that were rares and non rares that are either commander or from the box sets. Uh, several of these are worth a few bucks. Um, you know, there's there's the Feasting Hobbit from the Commander decks. There's Tree Beard. Uh, this is probably one of the best ones. Uh, Surge Foil. This is around 30, 40 bucks. This one's around twenty one. Um, I got one in each box, so that was kind of nice. Um, so yeah, so there's all those. Not too shabby. Uh, there's there's another one. Now and then for the Mythics, uh, where the big money was, we hit quite a few good Surge Foils. Radagast was not one of them. Uh, this was, this is a Surge Foil ring. This is going for around $90. Uh, so that was a great hit in one of the boxes. Uh, these, uh, poster style cards have a pretty high dollar value for the most part. Uh, especially this Watcher in the Water. It's 15 regular, like 30 foil. Uh, at least right now it is. So we did hit a couple of these that were really good. Sylvan Tutor. Uh, this Canopy, this, or Horizon Canopy Surge was a good amount. Uh, Arvindale, uh, Buckleberry Fairy was a good amount. So, uh, lots of good stuff. Spiteful Banditry, regular foil. So, some pretty good hits, not gonna lie. Now, with all that said, what's the damage? Did we make money or did we not? Well, let's break out my handy dandy notebook here I've been writing in. So, the way I did it was I did a mythic column, I did a rare column, I did a surge column. Uh, for all Surge Rares and Mythics. And then over here I did Uncommons, um, which were basically for like the Nazgul or any other Uncommons like here that I talked about that were actually worth some money. And you can see here about 20 bucks other than the Nazgul is around 20. Uh, another 20. This one's almost all Nazgul. Um, for this box, Surge Foils we had. Second box had $134 worth of Surge Foils. First box had 115 115 in rares, 145 in rares, and then 56 in mythics versus 120 in mythics. And again, uh, it's all based on where you get your good pulls from. So the totals for both boxes, we had a 356 and a 391. It's about an average of around 370. The boxes are going for, I think, around 290, $300 currently. Now, with that being said, if you were to buy these to crack them to sell them, there's going to be some problems with that. One, uh, you're going to lose 20% shipping fees, selling fees, have not, whatnot, uh, which means you're going to take this down to $60 off this. If you're, if, if you're running around $390, that's $330. So if you buy the boxes for $300, once you crack them and you do all the work and labor, you're going to make $30. Bucks. Uh, to be honest with you, that's basically all the hours it's going to take to list it and everything else and the time it's going to take to sell it. You're going to be working for about two or three dollars an hour. So, can you open these and sell singles to make money? Yeah, but here's the second caveat: you have boxes that are three fifty six. This would actually be right at what you paid for, if not less. So you'd actually lose money. And here's the deal, guys: as these boxes get open, these prices are going to go down. Um, not only because the cards are going to be in circulation. But these style of cards are going to be in circulation. Not to mention the older style, which is cheaper than this style, is already in circulation. So I think we're going to see a card quality dip a lot higher than normal um, after the first couple of weeks of this being out. Due to the fact that this is basically, this is just a reprinting of the cards we already have. Um, now there will be select cards that will hold that high dollar value. Um, just because of what they are, those cards, in my opinion, are going to be cards like these. 
um, that have the poster style and surge foils of the high dollar cards because they're going to be special and only in this set. Other than that, the rest of them, yeah, they're different arts and what have you, but they're in the previous set. So, like even Buckleberry Fairy. Yeah, it's cool this is a surge foil, but you can get this as a surge foil in the other box set. So, the real draw to this is going to be how many of these kind of cards you get and how many surge foil mythics you get that are um, unattainable from the previous set. And that's going to be rough. Um, the reason I say that is because this wasn't a surge foil in the previous set, but cards like Bag End were, all, were surge foils in the previous set. They all had the surge foil option. So, um, it's going to be interesting. Now, again, surge foils are so hard to get that the price of those won't go down very much. But they will be the high dollar cards, and the rest of this is probably just going to drop in price. Uh, and that's my personal opinion. So, if you want a box or two for it, I think it's fine. I think the value is definitely here if you want to keep it. If you're trying to crack these to sell, you're going to lose money. By the time you get them online and everybody's done undercutting everybody and, and what have you, these cards are going to lose too much value for you to make money off of them now. And if you want to try to put them back and save them for later, there's two different sets already. Um, and I'm here to tell you I've been trying to sell um, a case of the previous set and because this set's coming out I can't get that case to sell even at you know 2400 for a sealed case of six boxes so I took it off the market and with these coming out at a cheaper price it's just bad news for everybody you're gonna have to hold these too long for them to be worth value not to mention we're not even got to the dip yet so all in all if you want them to open that's great I like the cards I think they're pretty uh, but I would definitely buy them secondhand um, because they're going to be cheaper eventually. And the ones that aren't expensive now are already cheap. So keep that in mind. So tell me what you think down below at the end of the day. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your time, guys. Till next time, be kind. Hope to see you across from the game table later, player. Oh, that was mildly fun. Let's move on.